Why is the U.S. government rebooting old ammo plants? Well, a few years ago, the United States government embarked into a brand new journey where they were trying to replace the 556. Here's the 556 round. They were trying to replace the 556 round with a new round, something new that had more terminal ballistics, uh, more terminal velocity than the 556, uh, especially to defeat some of the new body armor. Uh, just something that had a little bit more power, even for uh, close engagements. Um, they set out to do this by telling manufacturers they had to use a 6.8 millimeter bullet. Here is a 6.8 Western. So this is a 6.8 millimeter bullet here. Uh, we'll get into a little bit more of that here in a second. Uh, with that, they called this their uh, next generation squad weapon. That was the name of the program. A few days ago, the United States government announced uh, the winner, uh, Six Hour was the winner, and the XM5 is what Six Hour is now working to produce. So the XM5 will obviously replace the M4A1 that the Army had been using. And you have to realize it's been since uh, the late 60s, mid to late 60s, uh, since the Army has introduced uh, a new squad weapon. So there was stockpiles and stockpiles of 5.56 five, ammunition uh, for you know the last 60 plus years. And now it'll be a daunting, daunting task for the United States government to not only replace uh, enough of these rifles and have spare parts available and do training, but you also have to have ammunition and that is going to be the most daunting task. So uh, the Lake City ammo plant in Missouri, for example, will be used to help manufacture some of the 6.8 ammo. Uh, so that's where we're going. And that's a short answer to the question as to why. Uh, now you have to have stockpiles of ammunition to support this new 6.8 millimeter weapon uh, that the Army is going to be using. Uh, so it's going to take multiple plants in order and, and multiple years to help create and generate the stockpile. So why the change to begin with? So let's talk about that for a second. I'll try to make it brief here on this video. This is the 6.8 Western. I looked at the Sammy specs for the 6.8 Western and the 277 Sig Fury, uh, which will be being used. And they are almost identical, very, very, very close. So it's a really good representation between this, which is 6.8 Western and the 6.8 millimeter bullet and the 5.56. So this 5.56, and this is a green tip, uh, is usually a 55 grain projectile, 55 to 75 grain projectile. And with the new 6.8 offering uh, from SIG, it'll be 130 to 140 grain. So twice the, the grain weight, and then you can see the difference in size there. So <clears throat> uh, as far as the difference in performance, the 6.8 offering at 1,000 yards for using the 6.5 Creedmoor, for example, will have six to nine foot less drop at 1,000 yards. That's significant. Uh, and 25 to 35% more energy at 1,000 yards than the 6.5 Creedmoor. So that's significant. Uh, so the 6.8 offering will have a lot more um, uh, energy down range, it'll be a lot more flat shooting uh, cartridge. So uh, that's long and short why the U.S. government is reaching out to some of these other manufacturing facilities, ammo plants that, you know, had been used World War II uh, in the past and, and now they're going to refurbish that equipment, get that equipment going again. Uh, and over the next few years, it'll be a really, really big push uh, now that they've chosen, you know, Sig Sauer, the XM5, their winner, uh, to produce enough of this ammunition to support uh, the Army. Right now, and I'd have to do some more research, I'm not sure uh, if the Marines or the Navy or any, anyone else uh, is even thinking about potentially, you know, changing over and using something different or using the XM5. Uh, but for now, the Army has made their decision and they're moving forward. And so we get more information, we'll uh, let you guys know. Uh, we'll do, be doing a video on the XM5 here soon. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Junior, out.